Hi everyone and welcome to my study lab. This is Victor and we're back with a new lesson of Bash Scripting Basics. Today we're going to be discussing the most commonly used special parameters in Bash. So let's get going. Uh, we've actually used some of these before. So one of these uh, special parameters is the star or asterisk which basically expands to positional parameters. Uh, and what are positional parameters? Well, positional parameters look like $0, $1, $2, and so on. And what these positional parameters expand to, or resolve to, basically, uh, is uh, parameters passed onto your script. So for instance if we echo out $0 here and then $1 and $2 and just make this executable. Now it won't, it, it only outputs the name of the shell script so that's your first positional parameter or dollar zero but if you add some parameters to this script sorry let's just execute this properly you'll see that it outputs those two parameters so in this case if you call your script like this with two parameters your first parameter would be referenced by $0 and your second parameter by $2 so those are the positional parameters now as I said uh, asterisk expands to those positional parameters uh, it basically resolves to a string containing uh, the values of all the parameters uh, passed onto your script separated by blanks. So let's save this, clear our screen and execute our script with uh, three parameters and our output is this. So basically this is what dollar asterisk expands to. And we've used uh, this script uh, in a previous video which I'm referencing on the top right side of this video. So that's one of the special parameters supported by Bash. Uh, one other thing concerning this parameter is that you can change the separator so instead of blank space between the words you can use a different separator like a comma and you do that by setting the IFS variable um, IFS equals comma for instance now this variable might be used by other scripts or by the shell itself so anytime you change it it's a good practice to first save it into a different variable like original IFS equals dollar IFS then you change it accordingly uh, according to your needs and then you work with it and finally you restore it to its original value original IFS so if we save this and execute our script with the three parameters again uh, let's see command not found okay sorry so here whenever you assign a variable do it properly don't follow my example <laughs> you shouldn't use a dollar prefix on the variable name when you assign 
Let's save this and execute. And yeah. And for the IFS separator to work, you always have to quote the dollar asterisk special parameter. So if we clear our screen and finally execute, these will now be separated by commas instead of spaces. So this uh, asterisk parameter works in two ways. When it's not quoted, it will simply separate your parameters by space. When it is quoted, it will use the first correct character in your IFS variable as a separator. So that's it on the asterisk special parameter. Another special parameter is the uh, at symbol, dollar at. Uh, and this is very similar to the dollar asterisk, except that it, it basically always uh, expands into uh, your pos positional parameters separated by spaces. So it, it disregards whatever you have in your IFS variable. And it doesn't matter if it's quoted or not, it will always expand to uh, your uh, parameters separated by space, like this. OK, so that's easy. Uh, Let's just add our list here uh, as a summary. So expands to positional parameters. Same as above. Uh, one other special parameter is the hash. And this expands to the length of your uh, positional parameters, so basically it gives you the number of parameters that was passed onto your shell script. Length of positional parameters. Now let's echo this and save and execute our script. And now it says three because we have three parameters passed onto our script. If we pass two parameters, it will say two. So that's easy as well. And if you remember our previous lesson on loops, you can use this to do a for loop, which loops through all your uh, uh, shell script parameters. Uh, what else? Uh, we have the question mark special parameter which gives you the exit status of your last uh, executed command. And we've used this in uh, uh, a few uh, of our uh, previous videos to check out the results of our uh, test commands. So if you run a command, and it can be any command like uh, EWD, uh, which this one should always be returning a successful uh, exit status and the successful exit status is zero. A failure or error is usually one or basically any number different than zero. So if we execute pwd and then uh, echo out our uh, dollar question mark parameter and then if we execute a uh, a CD into a non-existent directory and echo out our uh, question mark parameter again. Let's see what happens. So first PWD executes successfully and uh, our echo dollar question mark echoes out zero, which means that the previous command, the PWD, was successful. Next, we try to cd into a non-existent directory and our echo dollar uh, question mark echoes one, meaning the previous uh, command, which was the cd, failed to execute. 
So this can be useful sometimes as well. Uh, okay. Moving on, we have the uh, dollar special parameter, so dollar dollar, and this uh, gives you the process ID of your shell. And if you're in a subshell, so uh, let's PID of current shell. If you're in a subshell, meaning if you're uh, executing commands in a subshell using the uh, dollar parenthesis syntax, for instance, uh, yeah, and you do echo dollar dollar here, uh, this will, uh, instead of echoing the process ID of the subshell, it will actually echo out the process ID of the invoking shell, so of the parent shell. So if we echo this, and then we echo directly dollar dollar, we should have the same result. So the uh, returned value of dollar dollar and the current shell should be the same as the returned value of dollar dollar in a subshell invoked by the current shell. Hope that makes sense. If we save this and execute we have the same value in both cases. Okay, we have the bang parameter or dollar exclamation mark and this gives you the process ID of the most recent job placed in the background. Uh, most recent job placed in background. Let's try echoing this. So now it's empty because I don't have any processes running in the background. Okay, so what else? Uh, we've already discussed the position of parameters, but just stressing again that $0 is your uh, shell script name. So if we execute our script, and let's uh, let's echo dollar zero and execute our script it will echo out the name of our uh, script so that's the first positional parameter basically and if we execute it through bash uh, it's the same the name of our script uh, let's see what else we have here um, the underscore special parameter um, is the last argument passed on to your previous command. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and see you next time.